Hey guys, this is Wai Wong here with a new video, and uh, I'm trying to start this thing where I upload on Saturdays and Thursdays, so you all should, you know, check out the channels on those days. Uh, getting into this video is, you know, I wanted to talk about developing your style, developing your art style to be a, a little bit more specific, even though it's still very vague. Uh, for those who don't know me, I am uh, White Manga, the creator of Apple Black, the Apple Black series. You can read the first four chapters free on uh, Saturday AM website. And you can check out all the other cool stuff on Saturday AM website. There's also cool merchandise that you all can check out and support. You know, support me and artists there. And uh, you know, if you like Apple Black or White Manga or, or what I'm doing, you can support there. Um, and you can learn more about me if you don't know who I am. Uh, and yeah, that should be that. But getting into this, getting into this video. Uh, this is just me kind of talking about a question I get a lot and that's you know people asking me how to develop a style and you know I myself have like a, a little funny story of how uh, my style has developed over the years uh, but I'll get to that in a second um, I have this image on the screen and it's just kind of like giving you an idea of what I mean uh, but also what I mean is more than just this but I'll get to it but and you know looking at the image you can see the character uh, who is uh, ace from one piece drawn in several different styles by uh, different different artists actually this image I'm not 100% sure it's drawn by different artists but it may be drawn by someone trying to emulate the other artists so it's drawing the same character uh, in different styles Basically, uh, even though it might not be, it, it might actually not be, you know, the actual artists who drew this. But you know, let's just go with that. And then, then you know, that in the, that in itself is, you know, something we're talking about, where someone's trying to emulate the style. Does it mean the style is unique? Does uh, does the does it mean that the style is the same, or the style has been, it, it, you know, it's just gone through some kind of process and it's not. You know, it's not exactly, it's emulating something, but that's all it is, some uh, emulation. Is it the style, or is it, is it just a copy, or is it this, is it that, whatever. That's, you know, worth discussing. But anyways, the, I, the, the point is, the character Ace is drawn in these different styles, and a lot of people are trying to uh, develop their own style. Uh, before I go into that, first, I'd like to make sure, you know, just to give a little simple uh, definition, you know, Def definition of what I think style actually is. Um, style, just basic definition, is just a manner of doing something, design or or to make things in a particular form, or how you design, or how you do certain things. Uh, um, and you know, most people have their style, some similar to others, but there there is always some uniqueness to it. And sometimes a style can be a form of identity where you can actually support, uh, you know, point out it's its creator or history or you can automatically figure out how it's how the artwork whatever kind of art was being produced uh, how it's how it's being produced just by you know looking at it or listening to it so when I say art style I'm not just talking you know I'm not just talking the basics you know art itself could be it, it's it's very broad we could be talking music music we could even be talking about the way one may take uh dang free kick if you look at the way beckham david beckham took his free kicks uh, while playing soccer or football and the way roberto carlos took his free kicks both with the same goals but different techniques so you know when I say different styles, I mean it's really it's really broad, right? So our style, music, the way you sing, the way you, people say Ari, Ariana Grande, Mariah Carey, uh, Lady Gaga, and uh, Madonna. These are styles that are are at the end of the day different, but you know are similar to some degree. But my, the, the, what I'm trying to point out is that uh, the idea of styles is not just you know exclusive to comics. Or just um, fine arts. We it, it it's really broad and it covers a really wide you know spectrum of things. So before I go into you know my tips and what I uh, the pointers the things that I would advise people do in order to develop a style and notice as I say develop not necessarily create but uh, while while create could be used but most people I believe have somewhat of a style already 
ready, a style that either has been influenced by what they've seen or their experiences subconsciously or consciously. You know, it, it's it, it, it's weird that way. Um, and in my story, how I started is, you know, I always used to draw, right? And uh, my drawings always had a certain look to them. They always, you know, in, in uh, high school, people would it put people would be able to, and, and and at the same time, most of the people I grew up with, they were they were they didn't read, um, they didn't read comics that much. They didn't read watch anime or manga that much. But anytime they saw my work, they could ident identify it was my work. Um, and that just kind of lingered on. And you know, growing up, I was more into uh, the Western style cartoons, and I watched Spider Man and X Men. And it was only later that I got into uh you know uh japanese style work um the eastern eastern arts and not just comics but you know other kinds of art um uh, i think i remember the first my, the first anime i ever watched was uh Rurouni kenshin and you know we just went on from there um when i started drawing you know trying to draw in that eastern style right that's a style in itself that's just like you know, that could be like a style in itself and all the other styles under this Japanese style have kind of be, can kind of be broken down into categories. You have the shonen, shonen-esque things and the shoujo things. So the shonen stuff's like mo mainly for males while the shoujo for females is saying for a little mature. And, you know, it's, there are other genres in, you know, under that, right? And within those genres, there are even more genres because even if it's a shonen style male audience oriented kind of art style uh there's still you can still uh the art artworks and the art styles and how they produce and all that can are still distinct and can be separated from others you can differentiate between one style and another the truth is you can differentiate between any style and another uh, and another regardless of what uh genre it's under and things like that point is growing up creating my own work you know i i could see the influences Whatever, whatever, whether I was trying to um, say what I was trying to draw the nose the same way I saw on TV or not, it just kind of came out that way. And uh, it was one of those things that, you know, I just kept on drawing and drawing and drawing and drawing. And it, I just developed from there. And now with me growing up, I was not that uh, uh, exposed to many forms of entertainment. So I always had this idea that, you know, manga had this one look. Or you know, with the whole big eyes and the pointy nose, whether an artist might come up with that, you know, result in a different way, they were just. It, I, I thought it had one iconography, and you know, as you grow and as you evolve as an artist, you kind of your mind kind of uh, expands a little more, and you start to see things differently. And I think I, I think I developed as an artist as a whole a little bit, at least. You know, I'm not trying to, you know, sound weird, but. I think that happened, and I think that that also uh, that's something that needs to happen to you in order to the, develop this style. But you know, moving on, uh, and I got into Bleach. I got into I, I got into Bleach, and Bleach started to influence my work. I still had that mentality before I developed. It was only after I developed, and I started to see things differently. I got into Gintama. I got into One uh, One Punch Man. I got into Naruto. I got into well, One Punch Man certainly after that. But uh, I got into a, a ton of stuff, right? And then after that, I started going back to my Western roots, started getting into more of that. And then I got into movies and film and my pool of inspiration and influence just started growing, growing and growing. And before I knew it, with time, it just kept influencing uh, the work I created. Now, because of my, you know, mind has kind of been, uh, I feel like, you know, I started looking at things differently. You know, I believe that, you know, style is more than just line work. It's more than just how you draw eyes or how you draw the nose or how you draw mouth or how you draw hair or how you've drawn this character's hair or attire, how you, you know, draw shoes. It's also the, the same ideas can be applied to, say, how you draw trees, how you draw uh, leaves, how you draw grass, how you draw fire, right? I bet you there you can look at like 10 different uh, comic books, right? Whether they're from Japan or 
America, and they're probably drawing fire very differently, right? How you draw water, how you draw, you know, these styles might have something, you know, a few things similar to each other, but they'll have other things that are just way, uh, way different. Both still cool, right? And people might prefer one thing to another. That's the thing with styles. You know, it's not everybody's cup of tea. Some people may like it. Some people may, uh, may not. I know people that prefer, say, One Piece style to uh, One Punch Man style, but um, I know people who prefer vice versa. So, you know, that's also something uh, to think about. And, you know, style is, is how you tone. It's how you, it's even, it even comes down to the t techniques of how you create the work. So how you ink, how you color, do you color traditionally, how you color, how you color traditionally, do you color digitally, how you color digitally. You know, it's a lot of how you do things and, you know, how, how the result has presented itself and things like that. And it's, uh, or, or how you cut your panels on your page, how you present the panels on your page, how you, how the pages, how the panels look maybe during action scenes, how they're cut during action scenes and how they look. Maybe during scenes that are also tension filled, but or have less physical action um, and things like that. Style is more than just how you draw eyes and how you draw nose and how you draw mouth, you know, or how you've um, how you've come up with your way of drawing the human anatomy. How you draw muscles. How you do, if you go read you read One Punch uh, One Punch Man. Look how the muscles are drawn there. You go read Vagabond, uh, and you look how the muscles are drawn there. It's different. Go look at the, um, um, how the muscles are drawn in Bleach. Go look how the muscles are drawn in One Piece, Naruto, Soul Eater, uh, Blue Exorcist. They're usually all different, and it all kind of comes down to style. Style can also go into animation, right? Even hell, it might even be the same artist that created both comics. But if two studios, two different studios, animate the same thing, there is an animation style that's being uh, that's that's th that you know that's taking place, and you can kind of see that happen with one uh, one animation compared to the other, right? Attack on Titan, great. You know the animation looks great. Uh, Kill a Kill, the animation looks great. Put them together, uh, put them side by side, very different. Usually someone might prefer one to the other. And sometimes someone might, it may not even be, a, it, it's also a preferential thing, but someone might even hate a, partic a particular style of doing things. And that, you know, that's just that because, you know, people are entitled to their opinions and all that jack jazz. So with time, I believe my work kind of came from that naive way of thinking, in my opinion at least, uh, and um, kind of evolved into something else over the years. And there are certain examples. I'll be putting uh, the examples on the screen and showing you before and after images. You can kind of see how I color differently, whether it's traditionally or digitally. You can kind of see how I tone in 2015 compared to how I tone in 2014 compared to how I tone in 13 and 12 and so on and so forth. Uh, and, you know, all these things add up. Um, you can even compare this channel, the way I've presented my videos, you know, recently compared to, say, uh, when this channel actually first started. People have styles, YouTube video styles. My channel is different from, you know, any other, any other YouTuber, how they present their work. Now, there might be similar things and things that we do that are the same or similar, but, uh, you know, at the end of the day, things are designed differently. The, the camera is definitely different, uh, and, and, and so on and so forth. And I think my style, it kind of evolved from what it was in the beginning, being heavily inspired, especially by Bleach, as most people like to point out, um, and I think has evolved into its own thing. Now, you look at my style today, and I think it's, when I see my style today, I know it's mine, that you can still see the influences of um, work, uh, other, you know, work from other artists, uh, but I think that, you know, my style is now predominant compared to, say, 2011. And, uh, you know, even though I like my style today, guarantee it's going to keep evolving. Um, and it's not, it, it, it'll keep evolving to become something even more distinct. You know, if you look at my pages today, I, it, it, the way I tone, the way I put things together, Still similar to the, you know, the shonen 
element still has like shonen elements of manga that are present in other shonen mangas, which is you know the mangas that are mostly in like shonen jump that are uh, geared towards that young uh, male audience. Even, but even though it can also cater to a female audience as well, but um, the my style may have those key key elements, but it's still distinct on uh, distinct on its own. May still be have those key elements and have those influences, but it's key on its own. And the same thing happens to even the pros. If we go look at the early pages of Bleach. Look at Bleach today. You look at the early pages of One Piece and look at One Piece today. The style evolves over time. The, that's something you need to uh, you know keep in mind. And sometimes you might want to embrace that, embrace that uh, evolution. Understanding uh, your style will help you say. You know, if you want to draw a character, it kind of helps you, puts you, it puts you in a position to be able to draw that character over and over again and have the character look like, you know, what it's supposed to look like and resemble all previous images of the same character, which I'll do a video on, but I thought, you know, this video would be uh, better to do first uh, than to jump right into that. So you can expect that video from me. Uh, tips I have for anyone who wants to develop their own style. I think from all the things I've talked about already, you might have been able to pick up a thing or two from what I've said and how I've developed my own style as well. But, you know, key things is to sometimes what helps is to have a foundation. You know, before I started going into manga and comics, I already could draw a little bit. Um, and even when I got into it, I it, my drawings were still not, you know, great or whatever, um, but, you know, over time, I got better as an artist, and then the style kind of developed along the way. So what I advise sometimes, you know, is just kind of understanding the foundation and the basics of drawing, human anatomy, and things like that. Kind of like knowing the rules before you can break them. I think I've said this before. And it's kind of like having that foundation and practicing on, you know, the basic things. Practicing on the basics before you can add your flair, your style, your, you know aura to them. Um, so maybe you know how to draw realistic human, the realistic human anatomy, and then you can take things away, take things that you may not like, maybe simplify it a little bit. And those are kind of things that you kind of maybe have to follow, you, you, you have like an instinct for, and that would just happen over time when you say you want to simplify it to create uh, a comic or manga, a comic with a style that has a, with a simplistic style. So whether the comic is, uh, you know, Japanese influenced or you know, or just Western or whatever, or if it's like something that could be seen on like Cartoon Network where it's really sim simplified and the audience is geared towards kids, it's kind of like you can kind of morph your foundation into what you come up with, which will be influenced by what you've seen, your experiences, your instinct. And, um, yeah, I mean, I guess your gut and so on and, you know, that kind of thing. Uh, another thing uh, I'll say is to study other artists, see what other artists are doing, uh, explore other works, um, kind of like how I did. And when I say explore other works, uh, style also even applies to writing style. So even the way I write my uh, uh my stories for Apple Black, to write the dialogue and all that stuff, all that good stuff, there is a style to it. Everybody has their style. If you, I can listen to a Guy Ritchie movie and know it's a Guy Ritchie movie. And I could, you know, maybe for other movies it would be more difficult. But there is a, style, a writing style for, if watching a movie, definitely for watching it, there's a writing style uh, or a directing style for, um, in uh, watching, say, a Guy Ritchie movie or a Martin Scorsese movie or a Christopher Nolan movie or a uh, uh, David Fincher, David Fincher movie and things like that. And, you know, I can point out the difference. You see a Fight Club movie and you see, say, Rock and Roller, clear differences, right? And the way the movie is cut, the way the, the, the camera angles, the, the decisions to make certain camera angles and all that, that also falls under style, right? You can watch music videos and things like that. It all falls under style. And um, so I say study not just other artists, but kind of stuff like that. And you see over time, if you're like really studying it and trying to explore it, trying to understand why the creator has made certain decisions and how they work or figuring out ones that work 
and ones that don't work in you know for you in your opinion and seeing how that can influence your work and it kind of will whether it's subconsciously or uh, consciously and things like that so you know that's my second t the tip third tip would be to practice and practice and keep working keep creating work keep creating final pieces like not just sketchy stuff like creating work actually create stuff actually write stuff and over time you will improve and over time it you, uh, you will develop your style would kind of flourish with time um and and, and i think the last tip would be say sometimes you may not like in, in initially what you've gotten uh but it may have a distinct feature to it that that is that that's yours that can be identifiable to just to just you and people see that and they can uh, say it's you and you maybe you may not like it but maybe someone someone may like it it's one of those things where you kind of have to uh, maybe even show people get get feedback right show people get feedback and learn to embrace it don't just don't i'm not saying don't don't embrace any just anything uh try to like it if it's so difficult to like, then maybe you can keep working on it. But try to embrace the uh, the work you create and also embrace evolution. So things will change and you will evolve. An example was when I did uh, when I started creating comics and during my creating phase, I created a comic called Candle Candle Jack, and I created it because I wanted to see what I could do. Uh, you know, create uh, just creating a comic, a 30, 31 page comic, and I think I did it for a contest, but you know, clearly didn't win it. Um, but um, I also did it just to see what I was able to do by myself as an artist and as an illustrator and as a writer, uh, and it has had a certain style to it. Now, compared to where uh, there are certain things I tried to, there were sometimes I was trying to force an actual identifiable style that was uh, kind of away from, um, say, what my usual stuff, and it, it kind of didn't work. It just felt forceful, and I didn't like how it looked, and um, I still got the comparisons anyway. I mean, it was one of those things where I came back and I just started from scratch, and I allowed and I allowed my work just kind of flourish by itself. And with time, there were things I started liking, things that I started doing, things that I do that I don't think other people do, or maybe they do it but not with the same intentions, like the way I do exclamation marks uh, instead of just uh, sound effects with words. Because maybe I might think that sound effects with words can sound a little silly. Uh, but I do exclamation marks and uh, work with the size of the exclamation mark, trying to let the audience know maybe the the um, the volume of the sound and allow the reader to kind of come up with the sound themselves. Now I don't do this all the time. There are times where I do I do actual words from the sound effects, but uh, I only do that when the sound effect doesn't sound weird or corny or something like that. At least to me, right? Because at the same time I'm creating work that I like, you know, even though I'm creating work for, you know, an audience and I'm trying to write a story that, you know, is a, that's a good story. I'm trying to be a storyteller. I'm trying to do all this, you know, all this good stuff. But um, it, it, there are things that I don't like that I don't like in my work and they're just things that I do now that are just, that are just me. And that's just sound effects is just one thing. The way I tone is, is another, right? And the way I draw facial features and things like that, while some of the facial features might be similar to other comics, right? But um, there is still, at least to me, there is, uh, I can, you know, I have a style, right? And, uh, you know, at the same time, with, uh, when it comes to the whole style discussion, most other styles, right, are similar to each other in some way, shape, or form. Right, they're thinking you to to say to call something rip off. Uh, so call something a rip off to me is another video and is worth another video entirely uh, for us to talk about. But you know, sometimes you can trace things back down to if it's shown in manga, then you can say that the first shown in manga have created uh, all the other all the other comics that have come after it has have ripped off it in some way, shape, or form, which is not true, right? I think most things, and I've said this before, I think most things have kind of been done before already, but now it's, kind of, it's, it's, it's now time to, say, try to create something new, right? It, it may not be entirely new, but it's, so it's not about what you're doing, it's, and it's more about how you do it. It's kind of like everything's done before, right? Uh, now what matters is 
you know, how you do it or how you add to it, your twist on it, your take on it, your execution and things like that. I mean, you can name anything. And I'm t I can tell you that it's been done before in some way. It may not be exactly, but it's been done before in some way. So what makes set things sets things apart is the execution and how they're done now. Um, and I could think I, I've thought about this for a while, and you can you can call anything out, and I could think of something that it's been done before, not exactly, but in a different way. So, for instance, if you want to say not some, you may say Naruto was original. But yeah, Naruto is original. But uh, and I, yes, Naruto is original. One of the greatest um, uh, comics of all time. And you can also say it is influenced by, say, Harry Potter, right? And you know, I could go in with so many things about you know whether the, whether it's the academy, a school for ninjas, a school for wizards, or I could go the Orchimaru angle, how both snake dude Orchimaru and Voldemort, both snake dudes, both have a snake pet. Both need a boy to survive. That boy has a scar, Sasuke with the cursed seal, and um, uh, Harry Potter. Harry Potter with the you know the iconic, like thunder kind of looking scar on his forehead. But the boy works and work walk, uh, walks in teams. Or tomorrow, Voldemort have a little voice. The voices are weird, pale skin, snake like skin, and etc. Right? But does that mean that Voldemort and Or are the same thing? No, right? It's just a different. T it's 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 it's. Does that mean that Orochimaru is not original? No, and you know. They, so it's just it's part of one of those things where you know it's kind of been done before, but not exactly. Or Eisen and Superman, and I think I've talked about this before. Uh, so that's what I mean. But you know, I'll I'll save stuff like that for a different video because there's so many examples I can come up with. But this is just how to develop your style, and I hope I've come up with uh, little tips, and I've said. You know, told a couple stories that may help you in your journeys to develop your own style and create your own work. So yeah, hope you guys like this video. Hope I didn't ramble on too long. I think I did a little bit. Uh, don't forget to like this video and subscribe. We have more videos coming out. And you know, again, I'm also going to talk about how to kind of draw a character over and over again. Um, and uh, also have a, another fun video coming really, really soon. So y'all can check that out. Um, so yeah. Support Apple Black. You know, if you like it, you can read the first four chapters free. Uh, and if you want to support me, thank you ahead of time. For everyone who has purchased Apple Black so far, I'd like to thank you guys for, you know, a kind of uh, successful run, uh, um, judging, you know, uh, a successful run considering uh, how popular Apple Black currently is. Um, so, yeah, thank you guys for that. Thank you guys for watching this video. This is White Manga, and I'm out.